Calculating the mean and the standard deviation of a random variable is a lot of work, but with Minitab I can make it do at least some of that calculation work for me to save me a little bit of time. So what I have here is a random variable t. What t is is I took a sample of 15 people and asked how many of them had their tonsils removed. And this is a random variable that says if you chose a random sample of 15 people and asked how many of them had asked each of them how many of them had their tonsils reviewed. I'm sorry, ask each of them if they had their tonsils removed. This random variable would count how many people would say, yes, I have had my tonsils removed. We want to find the mean and the standard deviation of this random variable. And what I've given you is the full probability distribution. So you can see, I'll scroll down, it goes from 0 all the way down to 15. And it's got the probabilities for all of these. And the probabilities would add up to 1 if we added them up. So this is a true probability distribution. No problem. But now I want to find the mean of this random variable. Not just the mean of the numbers 0 through 15, but the mean of a random variable. So remember how we do that. We had to make a new column called t times p of t. Let me call this t times p of t. Okay, We've got a new column. And we need to fill it in. I need this times that. So 0 times 0 0.001238 needs to go here, and 1 times 0 0.010445 has to go here, and 2 times, so on. I don't actually want to multiply all those. I could get out my calculator and do it, but then I may as well do it on paper. I'm going to have Minitab calculate this for me. I can make Minitab act like a calculator on an entire column at a time. So I'm going to make Minitab do this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to move up here to Calc. And the very top one is called Calculator. I'm going to click Calculator. And first, it wants to know, where do you want your results stored? Where do you want the answers? Well, I want the answers in that new column 3, t times p of t. OK, now it says, what's the expression? What is it that you want to happen? I want column 1 to be multiplied by column 2. So I'm going to go up here and double click column 1, t, times, I'm going to click the asterisk. Remember, asterisk is the way we do times on a computer. Slash is the way we do divided. Times, and then I want p of t which is column 2. I'm going to double click column 2. And Minitab will literally take everything in column 1 times everything in column 2 row by row and it will fill in the next column. Watch, I'll click OK. And so this first one's 0, which is what it should be, and this next one's 0 0.01045. And the next one, this multiplied it by 2, 0 0.08226, and so on. Minitab multiplied each of these exactly as I told it to. Excellent. So to find the mean of a random variable, that's what I had to do, was make this column and then add up this column. I can make Minitab add up this column too, not using calculator, but using basic descriptive statistics. When I go up here to stat, basic statistics, display descriptive statistics, I want to take that new column that I made, column 3, t times p of t. I'm going to use that, but I'm not going to hit OK. I'm going to hit statistics. Because what I want is to add up that column. I want what's called the sum of the column. I don't want the mean. I know that's confusing because I'm looking for the mean of a random variable. But I'm not looking for the mean of the C3 column. I'm looking for the sum of the C3 column. So let me turn off mean and standard error of mean and standard deviation and quartiles and median and min and max I don't want and non-missing and missing I don't want. All I want is sum. It's right here above minimum. I'm going to click that. I'm going to say OK. And OK, Minitab adds up that column, it gets 5.4. So on average, if I selected randomly 15 people, 5.4 of them would have had their tonsils removed. That's an average. Obviously, in no sample could I get 5.4. I might get 5, I might get 4, I might get 6, I might get 7. But on average, 5.4 of them out of 15 would have had their tonsils removed. Excellent. There we found the mean. Now the standard deviation. Standard deviation, remember, is even more work. The mean, we had to create one new column, and we had to add it up. Standard deviation, we're going to have to do even more. We're going to have to make two new columns, and then we're going to have to do some calculations with them. So let's make that first new column that we have to, which was the t squared column. So here at column 4, I'm going to call this t squared. And I'm going to use my calculator to do it. So I'll say calc calculator. And I'm going to store my result in this new column that I called t squared. Now I want to know, what's the expression? What is it that you want to do? Well, I literally want to square t. So I'm going to take t, 
And then remember the way we do the way we would write raising to a power on a calculator or on a computer is with this caret t raised to the second power t squared. And I'm going to say okay. And you're going to see 0, 1, 4, 9, 16, 25. It squared it. Great. That's just what I wanted. Okay. Next, I have to make two new columns to get a standard deviation. I have to take that new t squared column, I'll just call it tsq, times p of t, times this second column, this p of t column. So I want to take this column 4 times this column 2. So again, I'll let Minitab do the whole, the whole column at once by going to Calc Calculator. I want to store my results in this new column 5, t squared times p of t. And what is it I want? I want t squared, so I'm going to double click t squared, times p of t, which was column 2, I'll double click p of t, I'm going to say OK. And now Minitab has multiplied all of these. Excellent. Now that's only, I still have three steps after that. The next step is to add up this column. Well I can do that just like I did before. I'm going to use my basic statistics. I'm going to say stat basic statistics, display descriptive statistics. This time it's this new column 5 that I want, t squared times p of t. And again, I'll click statistics, although it should remember what I did last time. Everything's turned off except sum. So I need that number sum. OK, OK. And I get 32.616 is the sum. Now that is not an important number. It's just a middle step. What do I have to do? Do you remember what we do with that? 32.616. The next thing we have to do is we have to subtract the mean squared. The mean was 5.4, so we have to subtract 5.4 raised to the second power. Here, let me put that on it. Raised to the second power. This is easier to do on your hand calculator. To just take 5.4 raised to the second power is 29.16. So this is 32.616 minus 29.16. Again, that's easier to just do on a hand calculator than doing Minitab. Minitab is great when you're working with whole columns. When you're working with individual numbers, it's nowhere near as convenient as just a calculator. So let's see what we get. We get 3.456. Oh, that's pretty cool. 3456. There, there are numbers in a row. I suppose it's not that exciting. That number would be our variance. If we wanted to get the variance, we would be done. We don't want the variance. We want the standard deviation. So we need to take the square root of 3.456. Again, a little easier to do on a calculator than to do on Minitab. And we get 1.859. 1.859 is the standard deviation. So there we found the mean and the standard deviation of a random variable using Minitab.